Inkle CM, a powerful synth plugin created by Swedish developer Klevgrand, is free with issue 227 of Computer Music Magazine. Available in VST format for PC, plus VST and AU formats for Mac, Enkel CM's single oscillator architecture and monophonic voicing are reminiscent of classic hardware mono synths, serving up an extremely simple and intuitive instrument that all computer musicians can get to grips with. There are four oscillator waveforms, LFO-driven amplitude or frequency modulation, dual resonant filters, an arpeggiator, and three onboard effects. This character-packed virtual synth is capable of a huge range of tones and textures, from chest-pounding sub-bass, silky lead lines, and futuristic arpeggios, through to versatile percussion, psychedelic effects, and everything in between. All the sounds in this track you can hear have been made exclusively with Enkel CM. So let's get stuck in and explore the plugin further. Once installed, fire up your door of choice, we're using Cubase Pro 8, and load Enkel CM onto a software instrument or MIDI track. Computer Music and Clevgrand have joined forces to create over 40 categorised presets. So use your DAW's preset browsing system to audition the available sounds. Mac-based Ableton Live users should use the VST version of Enkel CM, as AUs in Live don't feature a preset menu. Let's build a sound from scratch working through the synth parameters and features in order of signal flow. Begin by loading the default init preset to initialize the synth. We want to start in the oscillator section, found at the top left, where we can select from four wave shapes, triangle, saw, square and noise. We'll select the square wave here. The phase offset slider enables you to adjust the starting phase of the waveform and ranges from 0 to 360 degrees. We'll leave this at 0. The circular filter button turns the synth's filters on and off. Again, we'll keep this at its default on setting. The oscillator can be tuned in the oscillator pitch section, which contains three horizontal sliders. The upper slider equates to octaves, tuned between minus two and plus two. The second changes the pitch in semitone steps over an octave. And the third slider applies fine tuning in sense. The oscillator gain slider changes the oscillator level. We'll keep this at maximum value. Onto the AM and FM section, 
where you can apply either amplitude modulation or frequency modulation, selected using the section's top buttons. Let's look at FM first. Change the LFO shape to a sine wave, and turn the gain all the way up. You'll hear the oscillator's frequency, i.e. pitch, being heavily modulated by the LFO. The frequency slider sets the speed of the modulation, and the pitch is currently moving slowly, as the slider is at the slowest setting. So drag this right to increase the LFO rate, speeding up the pitch modulation. The gain slider sets the amount of modulation, so we'll set it somewhere between 10 and 20% to reduce the effect. The LFO's ADSR envelope is used to shape its response. Push the first of the four sliders, which is attack, and hear how the frequency modulation now slowly fades in with each new MIDI note. Hit the AM button to switch over to amplitude modulation. The LFO now controls the volume of the oscillator. Turn the gain up to maximum. Pull the attack back down to its fastest setting. Then alter the frequency slider to change the modulation speed. Try out the various LFO waves for a range of effects. Then select the sawtooth shape and set frequency to the halfway mark. Currently the glide dial is set at around 11 o'clock. But when we play overlapping MIDI notes, the synth doesn't glide between them. So we'll toggle the legato button at the top center of the Enkel CM interface. Overlapping notes now bend into each other at a rate determined by the glide knob. Having more than one filter greatly increases the sound design potential of any synth, and Enkel CM features separate high and low pass filters, with a shared resonance control setting the cutoff frequency boost for both. Set high cut, aka low pass, to 12 o'clock and crank the resonance up to maximum to sculpt an aggressive synth tone. Attack is like glide for the filter's key tracking. When set to zero, the filter cutoff instantly tracks each new note. But when increased, the filter takes time to react, giving a swooping effect. The arpeggio button and arp speed parameters control the arpeggiator, which we'll come back to shortly. The central ADSR envelope is used to shape the synth's volume envelope, with the four sliders defining the attack time, decay time, sustain level and release time. We'll put these back to the default settings. Next, the effects section, found at the top right. The stereo width effect, exclusive to the CM version, detunes the left and right channels further apart as this parameter is increased. 
creating an impressive stereo spread. We'll set this knob to around 12 o'clock to push the sound out to the sides of the mix. The EQ section can be used to further sculpt the synth's tone. Turn the module on, then click and drag the band's vertical lines to set their crossover points. And drag each band up or down to increase or decrease its gain. Here we'll apply a treble boost to brighten the sound. Vibrato is applied via movement of your MIDI keyboard's mod wheel. The range and rate of which are set via the vibrato range and speed knobs. The highly useful delay module is a ping pong delay that can be used for everything from subtle widening to extreme feedback echoes. Again, punch its toggle button to activate the effect. As with all of Enkel CM's parameters, the delay sliders don't display their values numerically, encouraging you to set them by ear. Hit the top switch to turn the delay on, then set a short time and medium feedback. And dial in the spread and mix values to taste. Crank up the feedback for cool repeating echoes. Let's wrap up with a look at Enkel CM's arpeggiator. Head back to the top center of the interface and activate the arpeggio button. Now, holding multiple MIDI notes at once causes the synth to play them in a sequence, the speed of which is defined by the ARP speed dial. Although the included presets, made by both Clevgrand and the CM team, do a great job of showcasing Enkel CM's potential, you'll get the most enjoyment and mileage out of the synth by designing your own patches. For example, try using the white noise oscillator, dual filters and delay to craft exciting noise-based effects and percussion. Or switch to the triangle wave oscillator and play with the filter resonance to create beefy subtones. And make sure you have a go at combining amplitude modulation, arpeggiation and delay to create captivating patterns, textures and sequences. Once Enkel CM has you designing sounds and riffing away like there's no tomorrow, we'd heartily recommend trying out its bigger brother Enkel, which adds a second oscillator and another LFO for even more monophonic fun. Plus, CM readers can upgrade to the full Enkel for only $9.99 instead of the usual $14.99, using the code found in issue 227 of Computer Music. Other great Clevgrand plugins include Covert, a creative envelope-driven multi-effect. 
espresso, a precise deesser, and corve presser, an adaptive limiter and compressor. These are all available as VST and AU plugins, and also as iPad apps. So find out more at Clevgrand's website. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.